This video is about in-text citations used in APA. To cite the work of others, APA uses an author date citation method. In-text citations are the part of referencing that appears in the body of your assignment. Every time you use another person's idea or work, you need to acknowledge it by inserting the author's name, the year of publication, and if it is a direct quote, its location. The in-text citation should match the full bibliographic information of the work in your reference list. There are two ways to acknowledge citations, as part of a sentence or in parentheses at the end of the sentence. These examples are both direct quotes. This is where you use the words exactly as they appear in the original source. The direct quote has quotation marks. The authors and the date of publication are included as well as the page number. This is so the quote can be located easily. In the first example, the authors are mentioned in your text, followed by the date in parentheses, the page number at the end of the quote in parentheses. With the second example, the authors, date and page number are at the end of the sentence in parentheses before the full stop. In this example, we want to use point number one in our assignment. It is on page 27 of the book Checkout by John Winters. The direct quote at the top has the quotation marks around the words that are an exact copy of those found in the book. The page number is included. Paraphrasing, or an indirect quote, is when you take someone else's ideas and summarize it or rework it into your own words. It still needs to be referenced, as it is someone else's idea, not yours. Paraphrasing is preferred by many lecturers, as it shows your understanding of a topic rather than just copying and pasting someone else's words. The second example is a paraphrased citation. It has no quotation marks, and page numbers are optional. It still has the author's name and the date of publication. We recommend you watch these videos. For more assistance, please contact the library.